Hi guys, Mr. K here. We are going to be starting our insect unit with a directed drawing of an amazing creature. We're going to do the drawing and a little writing exercise of the ant. So, if you have a piece of paper, you need to have your piece of paper going horizontally, laying down just like that, okay? And I, you can have a pencil, I usually like drawing with a pencil. I have a Sharpie so that it shows up better for you guys. Now, the important thing with the ant is the ant and every insect has three main body parts. And so that's what we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the middle body part. And that middle body part is called the thorax. And we're gonna make the thorax. It's gonna go up like a little mountain and down on this side like that. And then we're gonna just have it come down, kind of like a jelly bean, like that, okay? This is the thorax, and all the legs come out of the thorax. And an insect has six legs, but we're only looking at one side, so I'm gonna do three little rainbows. So there's three legs on this side, and there's gonna be three on the other side. Now, we wanna connect the head, and. Ants have little skinny necks like that on there. And the head is gonna be a pretty good size head here. So we're gonna go up like this, and we're gonna go down, and we're gonna go back up like that. Good. And we're gonna give this ant a really good size eyeball. So you wanna do a good circle right in there. And I'm gonna make this have like a reflection in it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave a white dot in there. I'm gonna do a circle like that, leave a white dot. And then I'm just gonna shade in the whole rest of the eye. If you're using a pencil, just shade it in nice and dark. And see how that makes it look like there's a shiny spot on the eye? Good. Now our ant has some little jaws, so I'm just gonna put little, they look like little pinchers like that right on there. And insects have antennas. So I'm gonna put a little dot right there and I'm gonna come out with the little antenna like that. And I'm gonna make this one go down like it's sensing, it's using its antennas to find something. And then I'm gonna do one, it's gonna be on the other side of the head. So I'm just gonna make this one start right there at the edge of the head line, just like that. And this one's gonna be going up at a little different angle. It's gonna be up like this, because they can move them separately from each other. So I have the head, the eye, the jaws, I have the two antennas, I have the thorax here, and now I'm gonna connect and we're gonna show the back, the third body part. One, two, three. The third part, body part is the abdomen. And I'm gonna make this come back up like this. And then it's gonna come back. And then it's gonna be like a big, kinda looks like a big teardrop like that. So we have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And I'm gonna come back to the thorax and I wanna make those three legs coming out. And if you know how to make a cone, here's Mr. K, he's gonna make a cone, just like that. It gets skinnier down at the bottom from that rainbow effect. And then I'm gonna make the leg come this way. And this is gonna be a skinnier part and it's gonna be a little jaggedy. It can be a little kind of wiggly and stuff. And then it's gonna get really skinny. It's gonna go down and it's just gonna have a little foot like that. And I can make it a little thicker and a little uneven. See how it gets skinny and white? That, that's how things look in nature. They get a little varied there. Good. Now, I wanna do the middle leg. This one came in and it went forward. This one's gonna come this way and it's gonna go up a little and then back. So I need to make a cone again. I'm gonna make a little cone, just like that. It looks like an ice cream cone. And then I'm gonna make it go up a little this way. This one's gonna go back, like it's pointing this way towards the abdomen. 
and then it's gonna shift direction and it's gonna come down and go that way. The foot's gonna go back. So this one's gonna be kind of skinny and I can just go right to the point, just like that. So the front leg goes this way, this one bends up and comes this way. It actually comes towards you a little bit, but that's foreshortened there. And then this one's gonna have a cone that's gonna come, it's gonna be almost like a cone laying down on its side. And that back leg is then gonna go up to the middle of the abdomen, like that. And the back leg is a little bigger. And then the last part of that back leg is gonna swoop down this way. So I'm gonna make it just like this with the foot. And then it's gonna get really skinny. See how they get really skinny, almost like a hair in the front. Now there are three more legs on the other side of our ant, but we're just gonna draw it, because this is a scientific drawing, we're just gonna draw it just like that. So we have the three body parts. Now we're gonna label this ant. So uppercase A, way up at the top here. Uppercase A, lowercase n, and lowercase t. Ant. Good. Now, I want to write a sentence for this drawing here because this is going to go in our journal. I'm going to say ants have three body parts. So I'm going to start with an uppercase A. I start over here. A. And then N. Straight line down, back up, and a bump. T, straight line down and across. And S, curve this way, curve back. Ants, now I need a finger space. I need a space between the words. I don't want them all bunched together. So finger space, ants have. That's one of our sight words. So tall and a bump. Just like that, H, A, magic C, curve up and back down, V, down and up, E, starts out, curve around. Ants have, now I need a finger space, and now I'm gonna just use a number, three, one, two, three, three body parts. So I'm gonna do a big three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Ants have three, finger space, body, b, 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 straight line down, curve around, o, a, ba, D, D, lowercase d, way up, straight down, and Y, under the floor there. Its little tail hangs down. Ants have three body finger space parts. P, okay. A, R, T, T, S. Ants have three body parts, period. We always end with a punctuation mark and that's gonna be a period this time. Ants have three body parts, head, the thorax, abdomen. Good. Okay, guys, we're going to make our ant. This is going to be a colorful ant. We're going to use the color blue for our body of our ant. And I want our ant to be, uh, I'm going to leave highlights, just like I did with the eye. I'm going to leave lighter areas showing the white of the paper almost at the top parts of each of the three body parts. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm just gonna do a light, light dusting of blue. Now you can make your ant any color you like. I'm gonna give all my ant's body parts 
a little dusting of blue to start out with, just like this. So I'm gonna go right around, but remember, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna make sure I don't do it dark up in these top areas, because that's where the light is hitting the, the shape of the body, the body. And an ant's body is basically, you can look at it as three spheres almost. And so just like a, a ball, out in the sun, you're gonna see where the sun is hitting it brighter and it gets darker as it goes around the bottom of the, the shape, the sphere. So I'm gonna make sure everything has a little dusting of blue on it first. I want it to have everything has a little blue, like that. Good. Now, I wanna make sure that I give this some shape. So I'll do the neck a little darker on the bottom of the neck right there. And each of these legs, maybe I'll make them a little darker down at the bottom of the cone, just like that. See how I made it where it's lighter and then it gets darker that way? That gives it a little bit more shape. And maybe a little darker there. Maybe a little darker there. I'll just give it so that it has a little varied tone. Maybe a little darker up in here and a little lighter there and the connection between the thorax and the abdomen, and maybe like that. So now I wanna really make these things look like they curve around the, the head. So remember, it's gonna be like a ball right here of light. So if it's a ball of light, it's gonna curve almost like a smiley face right here of dark, okay? So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go, um, a little darker with my blue, like that. See my, see my ball of light right there, my circle of light? And then a little darker. I'm gonna just keep tickling the paper, just like that. I wanna give it I want it to be, I'm gonna see this shape like this, like a smiley face, kind of. So I'm gonna go with a little darker blue, a little darker blue, and as I get lower, I'm gonna press a little harder, just like that. See how it's starting to make it look like it has a, sh a shape that you could almost grab that head of that ant. Compared with this, looks flat. This looks like, it's really coming off the page. But I wanna do the same to the thorax, so go ahead. Make sure you go in between those, those three legs there that this guy ha or this girl has. Now ants, all of the soldier ants and the foraging ants and the um, scouts and everything in the ant colony, all the ants that you see out of the colony that are all moving around on the ground, those are almost always girl ants, they are female. They do all the work for the colony and they make sure that they bring food back for the queen. The boy ants just stay in with the queen inside the colony, inside the, the ant hill. Ants are amazing creatures. Do you know that an ant, supposedly an ant can, can hold its breath, basically can live underwater for 24 hours. That's a whole day. That is amazing. And the ants have the longest lifespan of any insect. They live longer than any other insect. We're gonna learn a lot about different insects, but that's amazing. Ants are incredible creatures. And ants lived back at the time of the dinosaurs. So you might have seen a T-Rex moving around. You would have seen some ants crawling down on the ground right next to it, probably. I don't know if the ants were afraid of the T-Rexes, like I would be afraid of them, but mm. So you see how I'm making it darker on the bottom, but I'm leaving these light spots up on the top. Now, if we really want to give our ant another sense of three-dimensionality here, more shape, I'm going to take a color that's similar to blue. I'm going to take purple as my next color in, and I'm going to just give it some purple right like the smiley face rainbow right in here 
See how I'm doing that? I'm making just purple right here, like this. I'm not going too much with purple down here and definitely not in some up there. I'm just kind of like a smiley face of shading right there. Look at that. And that really gives it a change because the light is bouncing off the ground and hitting right up in here too, just not as bright as it does on the top. So I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna go right here and just give it kind of a line of purple. Just like this. I'm gonna go right around, kind of like a smiley face, an upside down rainbow, and just a little bit of purple in there like that. And I'm gonna do the same, maybe I'll give, it a, give a little bit of purple on these legs too. Maybe just give them a little color variation. That'll give it, That'll make it pop. And don't forget to put a little bit of purple in those, the neck and the connection to the abdomen from the thorax too. But here I go again, I'm gonna go on the, on the abdomen, I'm gonna, right here, I'm gonna put kind of a smiley face ring of purple. So I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna move it and curve it around just like this. So. Let's see. You can see it a little bit right there, but I want to go a little darker. So I'm going to press a little harder with my purple. Just like that. All right. That's looking good. So we have it just like that. You see how this ant now has some shape to it. I can give it a little bit more color right there too. Maybe a little bit on there. Maybe a little purple on the antennas. But look how that ant now looks like it has shape to it. It looks like you could grab the three body parts right there. Now, if you would like to, you can also put a little bit of background color and if this was an ant that was in the ant hill, if this was in the ant hill, it would have just some dirt right, I'm gonna just put the dirt right up against its body and then I'm gonna fade soft, soft, soft away from the body. So I wanna make sure I go with the brown right up against that blue body, but then I'm going to fade soft, 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 down. So I'm going a little bit harder, right next to the body. Make sure you don't have any white paper next to the ant's body. So I can go just right around. And look how Mr. K just fades it off like this. Because our main point of interest is what we drew, the ant. This isn't as interesting out here. So I just wanna, I'm gonna go right against that body so I could go right around like this. That looks like she's really in the dirt there. Look at that. And then I just fade it out. So, did I have it touch all the brown touch all the way around? I did. And then it doesn't matter if it's on that part right there. So this is our first insect drawing right here. This is our ant. And the ant has three body parts, the head, the thorax, the abdomen. We're gonna be learning all about ants and insects in the next coming weeks. So you guys did a great first job on your drawings. Save this one because you're gonna to wanna to collect all your insect drawings, okay? All right, I will see you for the next directed drawing. I think it's gonna be a ladybug.